This is my review of renting a guitar at the Hard Rock Hotel in Orlando, Florida. If you enjoy, please give this a like. Last night I decided to rent a Fender guitar. I say rent, you get this for nothing, but you do have to put a thousand dollar deposit down to get the guitar. So you get a guitar and an amplifier, small Fender Frontman 10. I'm assuming that's not going to be very loud because obviously you're going to have to take your neighbours into account. Um, and this Fender Pink Toba, oh, it says Squire Stratocaster, that's interesting on the label. Not sure why it says Squire. Let's have a look inside, see what we've got. And it is actually a Squire, it's not even a Fender Stratocaster. I didn't realise that. Oh, that's interesting. Um, it does have hard rock livery on it though. These are uh, stickers on the front of the guitar. Not really sure why well, it's not a proper paint job and it's just stickers. Um, so I went for this guitar because I like the look of it. Uh, and it's two humbuckers, so it's not a standard Strat. Most of the guitars that were available uh, were either, well, they were Stratcasters or Telecasters. Uh, I didn't actually notice whether they were Squires or Fenders, but um, yeah, so this is the guitar I chose. It's come, it's turned up with, it actually turned up within half an hour or so of us ordering it. Um, it's come with a strap, um, some headphones, which obviously I'm sure they'd prefer you to use if you're using this guitar. Um, a headphone extension cable, probably a good thing. Uh, a guitar lead, jack to jack. And a whammy bar arm. And a few picks, which look like they're actually made from hard rock hotel keys apparently when you leave the hotel you can have your regular room key turned into a guitar pick should you so desire and that's obviously what they've what they've done here for the picks that they've supplied um, which are obviously very thin uh, not particularly usable they're quite rough around the edges so they've obviously just been knocked out of a out of the card and not finished in any way um, but thankfully luckily for me I have brought a pick with me so uh, I'll just set the guitar up and uh, I'll give you some feedback on what it's like to play um, and uh, how it sounds just in case you want to do the same yourself okay so I have now um, tuned the guitar up I had a tuner app on my phone luckily because the guitar was a little bit out of tune so i tuned it up um, plugged in the amplifier turned it on turned on the volume turned up the volume and basically you get no sound from the amp itself in the room so obviously they don't want you um, messing with the with the neighbors and uh, playing your guitar at whatever hour of the night or whatever volume so there's actually no volume the volume knob on the amp does nothing basically just turns you can't hear anything from there so um looks like the only way you can play it is through headphones so i've taken out the provided headphones so i'm going to have a quick listen see how it sounds uh, obviously you won't really get much in terms of volume it looks like the headphones are quite new because these are still unsplit so i'm just splitting these apart so that i can actually get them in my ears Oh, that sounds very loud already, so I'm going to try and turn that down a bit. Don't want to make my tinnitus any worse than it already is. Yeah, and it sounds pretty terrible, as you'd expect.
the guitar's gone out of tune pretty much straight away. I'll turn the gain down on this. Take the overdrive out. It sounds better already just for not having the overdrive on it. But it's massively out of tune. So basically, I would say from this very lim limited um, go of the guitar, uh, it's quite disappointing. You can kind of see why they provide these for you for, for nothing. Um, guitar's gone out of tune very quickly, doesn't play very well, uh, the action's quite high, the sound through the amp is pretty awful to be fair, it's unlistenable. So unless you're really desperate to play guitar when you come on holiday, um, I would suggest probably it's not worth um, having one of these delivered to your room um, because even if you do have the time when you're on holiday to play guitar, you're not really going to get much pleasure out of, uh, of playing one of these. But I suppose it's a it's a gimmick for the hard rock to uh, to offer a guitar um, for people that are staying at the hotel to be delivered to their room so that they can play if they want to. But this one, I think there are basses as well. There's a couple of basses. Um, but for me, uh, I think this is going back in its case uh, and it'll go back downstairs so I can get my thousand dollar deposit refunded uh, sooner rather than later. So that's my quick review of the in-house guitars provided at the Hard Rock Hotel in Orlando.